Hey guys, welcome back to the Geek Plan. This is Jeff, and welcome to another unboxing here on the channel. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this thing has been sitting over on my shelf for a couple of months or longer now. And I'm like, you know what, maybe I need to get it out and unbox it, because there's this one and another one over there that I'll do in one of the next unboxings. But uh, yeah, we'll take a break in between spawn figure unboxings and other things, and we'll uh, take a look at this. This is the Iron Studios 110 scale, art scale, uh, Steppenwolf from Zack Snyder's Justice League. So you can see the Iron Studios box. Hopefully I don't dox myself here. Nope, I took my label off, I believe. But yep, it's just the, you know, just the brown shiver stuff. Um, I think this one was ordered from Sideshow when I ordered it. Let's go ahead and get this out of the box. We can see the interior box and then we'll get the statue out. And then I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna put it. Okay guys, here he is out of the brown shipper. All right, so here's the box. Zack Snyder's Justice League logo. Uh, it's got the DC logo, art scale one tenth. Seth Steppenwolf, it's got the Iron Studios logo. Turn it around. Iron Studios logo, DC World. Worlds to Collect, that's uh, Iron Studios, that's their motto. On the back, it's actually got an image of the statue itself in the base. It says hashtag Iron Studios. And the other side says Steppenwolf DC and Iron Studios right there. So not a whole lot, but on the top, it says Zack Snyder's Justice League, Steppenwolf. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this guy out. And uh, he'll be in some star foam. We'll take a look at that real quick, what it looks like out of this. And then we will, uh, yeah, get the statue out himself and take a look because uh, I've seen reviews on this already and apparently the detailing on this small of a figure is just remarkable. But I will say I am, I'm going to have to agree because the ones I have behind me that you guys have already seen, they're, they're fantastic. So Iron Studios has done a good job on what they've been doing for the smaller statues like this. And for a collector, uh, anybody out there who doesn't want to spin hundreds or even thousands of dollars on some of these expensive statues that are insane and getting even more ridiculous every day. Iron Studios does Star Wars, DC, Marvel, like MCU stuff. They do Back to the Future stuff coming up. They've got Jaws stuff coming out. Like they have anime things, I believe as well, anime licenses. They have all kinds of stuff they're doing. So definitely check them out. Like if you're in the States, uh, check out sideshow.com. But I also highly recommend Speculative Fiction spec fiction shop uh checking them out as well for those but yeah they do a lot more than just comic book stuff they do a lot a lot of cool stuff so yeah definitely check them out but let's go and get this guy out and take a look i know i don't really need to show like the paper and stuff on but i just want to show you exactly what it looks like when i open the styrofoam i'll just go ahead and get everything out and then uh show you everything piece by piece before we um actually put them together okay guys so here's the base it comes with where he's gonna sit there and then he's got a, his foot's gonna rest on the other side. His peg will go in there, foot will rest there. Okay, got that. Then as I showed you earlier, there, here's the bottom piece of the axe he has. And then here's the top piece of the axe. Pretty good paint app on it too. It looks very yellow for some reason, especially on the camera, but mm, paint, paint detail on it, I think it looks really good. Yeah, I did a good job. Iron Studios did a good job on that. And of course, Sepp Wolf himself inside the styrofoam. So let's go ahead and get him out and put him together. All right, so I've got him out of the box and let's take a look. Of course, there's the base. There's the feet on him where he slots in. That's just the detail on it's really nice. I think so. Take a look at a bit more of the suit and the spikes. And I think they did it really, the paint on it is really good too. I don't know if you guys can see in the, video or not, but it's really nice. The, the face sculpt is actually really good. The the light, the flash on it kind of washes it out. If you I pull it back, you can see it better. And then the mother box details there. It kind of looks like it's shifting, you know. Let me turn the flash off actually real quick. Now you can kind of see a little bit more where it looks like it's kind of shifting the mother box where it was kind of pulsing or whatever. Yeah, that's what it's doing. Kind of get a different angle of it right there. Yep, and then, okay, so this doesn't wash out the face. Now you can see the face better. The eyes look great. Let's see if I can get a zoom in on it. Might be a little too close for that, but we'll see. But yeah, okay, yeah, so there we go. Horns, all the spikes look good. Let's uh, turn them around. Take a look at the back of it. See the spikes on the shoulders a little bit closer, but yes, 
very great detail on this for what it is, the size it is, I believe. There's where the axe goes. Now this here, I don't know if it's just kind of showing a little bit of the, his armor coming off and revealing his skin, which is what I think it is. But yeah, and it's got the axe, a little bit, kind of like the yellow paint on it. I kind of made it, make it, you know, where it kind of like lights up when he's like swinging it. But yeah, and then the detail on the back of, of the axe, like the handle looks really good. But yeah, the spikes, look at the back of the legs and everything there. But yeah, great detail on it all the way around. Um, yeah, there's you can see more of the metal box here where it looks like it's shifting. And then there's more spikes on the shoulder. Really, really good piece. I think it looks fantastic. I'm excited to see what it will look like with Dark Side because their bases are different. But I'm it's very it's gonna be very interesting seeing this statue next to Dark Side because on Dark Side's base, of course, you see his head being stepped on, which is gonna be kind of weird. But anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's a great looking statue. Um, I highly recommend it if you're a fan of Zack Snyder's Justice League or the design of Steppenwolf and you just kind of want to build your collection and collect all DC stuff. But yeah, definitely check it out. Iron Studios, um, their website, if you live overseas and in Europe, you can actually get it from their we website as well if you live in the States. But I'd recommend doing like Sideshow or Spec Fiction because the shipping is much better. And I think the shipping on Spec Fiction is even better than what it is on uh, Sideshow. So definitely, definitely check it out there. Um, if I remember, I'll leave a link in the description. But all right, let's go ahead and get this guy put over there with the rest of them and um, see what he looks like with the band. Get the band together. All right, here is my Iron Studios. Uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League and Justice League collection so far. I think it looks really good. I, of course, I do think that Batman does look out of place because the base isn't that great. But again, it's technically from the 2017 Justice League, even though they'd already done all the scans for the statues and the toys and the figures way before Zack left the project. They got to get that done very, very, very early on and get that started. So they were already started making that stuff way before. And then you got Aquaman, Superman, and then Steppenwolf next to Dark Side. I think they look really, really good together. I like the bases. They kind of, they kind of complement each other. I like how each one has their own unique base. Like there's part of the Kryptonian ship from Superman that he's, that he's you know, looks like he's hovering over. Aquaman's got the water on the rocks, which if you look, watch my review on that, like the base on that is incredible. I, I think they are fantastic. Um, I have Wonder Woman left to unbox here. Um, these guys look really, really good. I mean, I'm looking forward to putting the material on this and the reflection off the material from those lights up there. There's my shelf for Zack Snyder's Justice League Iron Studios. This has been the unboxing of the Steppenwolf, which I think looks really, really good. I highly recommend it if you guys are fans of the movie or if you guys are fans of the design of Steppenwolf and you really want one for your collection. Definitely recommend picking it up. I believe it's still available. I mean, I'm pretty sure. So definitely check it out. Um, I believe most of these are pretty ready, readily available still. Of course, I think he's sold out everywhere, but you can get him secondhand or a secondhand like comic or collectibles website that's not Sideshow or Spec Fiction or something like some of the smaller sites might still have some of them. Just do Google search, you'll find them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, the unboxing of the Steppenwolf statue. I think it's great. I think it looks really, really good. And it goes with everything. I might turn them a little bit more forward like the rest of them. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys like these smaller statues, even though they have much less detail on them compared to the bigger stuff. Um, is it something you guys consider buying down the road of different characters or instead of just getting figures all the time, would you guys, is this something you guys would be interested in buying or Iron Studios? If you're an Iron Studios collector also as well, let me know what you guys think of these and if you have these or if you have ones that you really like as well so other people can kind of see what you're collecting as well. Or you can go to my Discord, which the link for that is down below, and you can go to the collecting section and post some stuff over there if you want it for your collections. So definitely check it out. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Remember, uh, leave a like on the video. It really does help us out. It sure does, especially in that YouTube algorithm game, that fun game. Um, that way you guys can, you know, it helps people find us. The more likes we get, the more people find the videos. Also, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button for more. And if you're a new subscriber or a current subscriber, definitely make sure you have the bell turned on for notifications so you can be updated when I release a video on my crazy, insane, like, release schedule for all my videos, which is like randomly just whenever. So yeah, definitely um, want to do that. 
Uh, but yeah, definitely. Also, like I said, leave a comment below. Just let me know what you guys think about these statues and <clears throat> any other comments you guys have. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember, this is the Geek Blend. And if you geek about it, we speak about it. I will see you guys next time. Bye.